May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. June 1, 2023 Memorial of St. Justin, Martyr A reading from the Book of Sirach And now, I will remember the works of the Lord, and I will announce what I have seen. The words of the Lord are in His works. The sun illuminates and considers all things, and its work shows the fullness of the glory of the Lord. Has not the Lord caused the Holy Ones to describe all His miracles, which the all-powerful Lord has firmly established in His glory? He has examined the abyss and the hearts of men, and He has considered their astuteness. For the Lord comprehends all knowledge, and He has gazed upon the signs of the times, announcing the things of the past, as well as the things of the future, and revealing the traces of hidden things. No thought passes by Him unnoticed, and no word can conceal itself from Him. He has adorned the magnificent works of His wisdom. He is before eternity and even unto eternity. And nothing can be added and nothing can be taken away. And He has no need of any counselor. Oh how desirable are all His works! And all that we consider is but a spark. All these works exist, and they remain in the present age and they all obey him in every purpose. All things are twofold, one facing another, and he has not made anything to be lacking. He has confirmed each thing as good. And who would tire of beholding his glory? The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Confess to the Lord with stringed instruments. Sing psalms to him with the psaltery, the instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Sing psalms to him skillfully, with loud exclamation. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his works are in faith. He loves mercy and judgment. The earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were established, and all their power, by the Spirit of his mouth, gathering together the waters of the sea, as if in a container, placing the depths in storage. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all the earth fear the Lord and may all the inhabitants of the world quake before him. For he spoke, and they became. He commanded, and they were created. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark. And they went to Jericho. And as he was setting out from Jericho with his disciples and a very numerous multitude, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind man, sat begging beside the way. And when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and to say, Jesus, son of David, take pity on me. And many admonished him to be quiet. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, take pity on me. And Jesus, standing still, instructed him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Be at peace. Arise. He is calling you. And casting aside his garment, he leapt up and went to him. And in response, Jesus said to him, What do you want that I should do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, that I may see. Then Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you whole. And immediately he saw, and he followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection 
How can you emulate the fervent and persistent prayer of Bartimaeus in your own life, seeking the presence of the Lord, listening for his voice, and crying out with deep conviction and intensity? And they went to Jericho. And as he was setting out from Jericho with his disciples and a very numerous multitude, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind man, sat begging beside the way. And when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and to say, Jesus, son of David, take pity on me. Mark 10 verses 46 to 47. How do you pray? Do you ever cry out to Jesus with deep conviction and intensity? This blind man, Bartimaeus, sets for us a wonderful example of how we should pray to our Lord. First of all, the blind man was in a state of need. His blindness symbolizes every weakness and need you have in life. So what is it that you struggle with the most in life? What is your greatest habitual sin? Or what causes you the most grief? Seeing our weakness is the first step. Once we are aware of our greatest needs, we must also cry out to our Lord, just as Bartimaeus did. Upon hearing that it was Jesus, Bartimaeus somehow sensed within his soul that Jesus wanted to cure him. How did he sense this? He listened to the voice of God within. Yes, he heard the commotion of many speaking about Jesus as he walked by. But this alone could not have compelled him to cry out, and to know that Jesus was the source of the mercy he needed. That which compelled him was the clear voice of God, a prompting from the Holy Spirit within his soul, revealing to him that he needed Jesus, and that Jesus wanted to cure him. At first, those around him rebuked Bartimaeus and told him to be quiet. And if Bartimaeus would have been weak in faith, he may have listened to the crowd, and in despair, remained silent. But it is quite clear that he not only ignored the rebukes of others, he kept calling out all the more. Bartimaeus gives us here, a double witness of how we must turn to our Lord. First, we must sense his gentle but clear presence within our soul. We must recognize his voice and his promptings of grace. He wants to heal us, and his presence in our lives must be sensed within. Secondly, we must become intensely fixed upon that voice within. The crowds who rebuked Bartimaeus are symbolic of the many voices and temptations we experience in life that try to keep us from faithfully and fervently crying out to the God who speaks to us. Nothing should deter us from our wholehearted determination to call to Jesus with our need. Reflect today upon Bartimaeus being an image of yourself. See yourself in desperate need of our Lord and listen for his clear voice. Do you hear him? Do you sense him walking by? As you do, cry out to him with fervor, intensity, and conviction. And if you find that there are temptations that try to silence your prayer and faith, increase your intensity and cry out all the more to our Lord. He will hear you, call you to himself and give you that grace which he desires to bestow. Let us pray. My merciful Jesus, you are constantly passing by, drawing me to yourself by your divine presence. Give me the grace I need, in order to see my need, and to call out to you with all my heart. May I never be deterred from this fervent prayer dear Lord, and when temptation sets in, may I call out all the more. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.